Today we're going to be looking at the best music video effects and transitions that you can do inside of Premiere Pro. I recommend you guys stay to the very end of this video because there's some absolute sauce inside of this video for completely free. And before we hop into this, I gotta shut up my editing packs. That's the way I keep this channel running and upload every single day. On there, there are a ton of easy to use and super fire packs that you guys can use on your music videos. They're specifically made for editors like you by editors like me. Anyways, let's hop right into this. Starting off at number one, we're going to be doing this transform motion blur zoom effect that is so fire. I got to put you guys onto it. We're going to right click and sign up a project now. We're going to go over to new item. We're going to create an adjustment layer and then we're going to hit OK and drag this on top of our clip here. Now, on top of our clip, we're then going to click on the adjustment layer, go up into effects and we're going to search transform. Now, if you have my fast movement effects pack, you guys will see this transform with motion blur one on. If you don't have that, just drag and drop the regular transform one on here. Now, under effect controls, we're then going to turn off use composition shutter angle right here, and we're going to turn this shutter angle to max at 360. Now that that's out of the way, what we're going to do next is just watch the clip through. And about here, we're then going to hit keyframe on our scale, and then we're going to go over a couple frames, and we're going to hit a nice little zoom in like that. You guys can see. Has a little bit of motion there. Now, if we move this further back and make this quicker like that, we get a nice little motion. And if we put this anywhere in the video, let's say we want to put this here, right where that bass hits, you guys hear that? We'll add it right there too, just to see how that looks. Super cool effect to add a little bit more motion to your videos. Now that we're already on adjustment layers now, I'm going to show you guys some really cool effects that you can do with them. So let's drag and drop the adjustment layers here in between each of these clips. If I hold Option or Alt on Windows, we can drag and drop them right in between these clips just like that. Super quick and super easily. Now if I play this through... You guys see how that looks there. But if we go and open up Effects and then we look at our fast movement effects bundle here, which you guys can grab linked below. If you use code 15 off, you can save yourself 15% off. We can open up and see all of these presets inside of here, guys. I'm telling you, this pack has so many fire effects inside of it. I, I don't even know which ones to use half the time. So we're going to drag and drop some hits, shakes, and wipes on here and sauce it up and show you guys how this works. This is the must-have go-to preset pack for Premiere Pro. I'm telling you guys, guys in Lyrical Lemonade use this. It is so fire. So we're gonna go ahead and drag aggressive hit with flash on here. Let's do this hard wipe here. Soft motion blur hit, shake hit with flash, crazy hit transition, and then shutter wipe horizontal. And we'll see how it looks now. I be praying for the street. Super fire, especially these ones here and these wipes. They just go so crazy. Let me play it without it. And then with the wipe. Such a unique transition. If I take this wipe and put it somewhere else, like let's say here, you guys can see. You almost get that slow shutter wipe effect. And there are six different ones inside of here alongside a bunch of other hits, shakes, and wipes that you guys can use when beats come in on the same clip or anything like that. So go check that out, link down below. But let's move on to the next one now. Right, so next one we're gonna cover are these flash transitions that are super unique to use. We're gonna drag and drop an adjustment layer in between these clips again, but this time we're gonna be creating it ourselves without presets. So we're gonna type up brightness here. We're gonna drag and drop brightness and contrast on here. And we're also gonna type up blur and we're gonna drag on directional blur as well here. So if we open up effect controls, we're gonna work on the directional blur first. So if we set a keyframe on the blur length here, at the very beginning and then we go right in between the two clips and we turn this up you guys could see here we get a little bit of a blurred effect and then if we go towards the end here copy this keyframe paste it and then drag it at the end we get this transition and we could use that here as well and here as well let's say this clock hit hits right here when the clip is still going on you guys can see and if we make it a little bit quicker, something like that, you guys can see we get a really unique hit effect that works as well. So I'm recommending you guys just take all these ideas, all these unique things I'm showing you guys and implement them into your own effects. Now, if we go ahead and play around with the brightness and contrast that I added on here, I did not forget about that, don't worry. We could turn up the brightness and the contrast here, and then the brightness again, just keep on going back and forth on that. All right, sweet, we'll set a keyframe and then we'll go over to about here and reset them to zero and then paste the same thing here 
you guys see we got a nice little hit effect here and if we bring that over in between these two clips it looks so fire awesome guys looks great anyways let's move on to the very next effect now so the next one is Brian Delimata's paper pack. It's actually the brand new texture bundle pack. Inside of it comes all of these super crazy things I have to put you guys onto. So if we just drag and drop these into our composition here, it'll load up for a couple of seconds. If we go over to effect controls and just bring it down, since our composition is a little bit smaller than usual, you guys can see we have this really cool looking clip here. Now, the coolest part is if you click on it, go into essential graphics, we have the top, and the bottom. Now, all you guys have to do now is drag and drop your clips inside of there. So I'm just gonna drag this down. If we go into our project now, we could take clips from the music video, like this clip of him looking out by the sunset and drag that one there. And then let's say this one of his feet and drag this one at the bottom. You guys could see instantly, None of that shit. Wow. you get those paper effects. And it's gonna extend for as long as you go because it actually is a lot longer than the clips. So you, just, you would just cut it off here. That looks great but inside of it as well there's a little bit more customization if we scroll down you can actually move the clips around so we're going to go onto this one here and move it to the side there and then you also have the quality you can mess with here as well for the paper texture if you want to play around with that as well and customize it to your full liking that's all inside of here guys and if you click on the paper thing as well you can replace that with something else so boom we have a paper texture just like that looking super fire and if we go back into browse here, there are a ton more that you guys can mess around with. So let's bring this one on here. We have this rectangle growing one. And since, like I was telling you guys, these are meant for 4K projects. So they're going to be a lot smaller inside of a timeline that's a square like this. So all you have to do is go ahead and sign a scale and just scale it down like that super simply. And then same thing as before, we have our two clip areas. All you have to do is drag and drop your clips inside of there. So I'm going to drag and drop that one inside of there and this one inside of here. You guys can see just like that you have the two clips with the transition. And you don't have to do any of the mixed media work yourself. If you guys want to grab this, it'll be linked below and you guys can use code tapes to save yourself $5 off. And moving on to the very last one now, guys, we're going to be covering my favorite one of all time inside of here. If we go into a website like YouTube here and we just search simple film burns just like that, we'll have a ton of these playlists and videos. Let's search free, free film burns, see what we can get here. We have a bunch of different film burn overlays like this one here. Now, all you have to do to get these inside of your project is copy the YouTube link and then go over to YouTube downloader, but just make sure they're free. There's a download link here as well, but I'm assuming a lot of them won't have that. So we're gonna go over to this top one here. We're gonna paste the link in here, hit download, click on this here, and you guys can download it for free that way, but I'm gonna be using my downloader, which I pay, I think like $10 for. We're gonna paste the link inside of here. It's gonna download it in full. 1080p all i have to do is hit this folder button drag and drop it inside of my project and boom i have this fire film burn transition here i just have to go ahead and resize it to fit everything and then all you have to do once you have your film burn transition inside of here is set the blend mode to screen and if we go and put it on let's see this is a good clip here something like this whoever say something about me go ahead i never responded to no nigga in years but guess what i look so fire guys and Honestly, I'm telling you right now, there's an unlimited amount of these on YouTube and there's a bunch of other stuff as well that you could download and use as overlays too. Let's say if you wanted to do some like film grain, there's a ton of different film grain overlays. Or if you want like a film border overlay, just like these, you could download these. Let's say this one here, all we're gonna do is copy it, head over here, paste it, and then just drag and drop it inside of our Premiere Pro. You guys could see we have this film border. Now it's not the exact size of our composition, but you can actually fix this by clicking uniform scale here. And then you could play with the custom scale width and the custom scale height. And then if we go over and turn on screen, if we go over and turn something like color dodge on here or overlay, you guys could see we get a bunch of different unique looks inside of here that we could use just from a YouTube free download. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video and want to check out any of the editing packs, they'll be linked below alongside the discount code so you guys can save some money. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.